that, ladies and gentlemen, was a gag. I'm now going to talk about the anatomy of magic. Your senses, our senses are taking in thousands of pieces of information every second and can't possibly process all that information, so it makes assumptions based on past experiences. Your brain is just too small. Now, magicians use optical illusions, visual illusions, and cognitive illusions. That's a long 15 seconds. <laughs> this is an optical illusion or visual illusions. Those lines are actually straight and parallel, but your brain interprets them as crooked and curved and not particularly straight. Magicians also use cognitive illusions too. That's actually not tricking how the eye perceives the world, but the brain itself. I'm going to focus on that mostly in this presentation. The brain, the brain lives in the future. That's how magicians can trick you or fool you. See, in the future, you look forward to doing like a high five and you predict where the hand's going to land and you make contact. If you move to where it was, you'd miss it. So when you're watching a magic show, you're thinking about what's coming next and magicians get that. What they do is they create a false reality. And this false reality, they make all this proof and evidence to prove this false reality. And the moment we got you hook and line, we reveal the real reality. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the magic moment. And now, it's time for the big reveal. About 50% of you might not have noticed, but I'm not the same person who walked out on stage precisely two minutes ago. There was a switch or change. And that person is my friend, magician, scientist from the Exploratorium, you may recognize him, that's Luigi Anzavino. Thank you, Luigi. Now, you may not notice that switch because of two concepts, a blink and change blindness. What is change blindness, you ask? I will tell you. It is the phenomenon when observers fail to notice changes in their visual field. Your brain is taking too much information, so it kind of fills in the holes itself. This is why eyewitness testimony is just completely terrible. The other thing is a blink. Now, magicians know that, so they create what's called an artificial blink. What is an artificial blink? It's a move, yeah, <laughs> Dr. Who, huh? <laughs> so it's a movement, it's eye contact. I got one applause for that, thank you. Um, <laughs> And, and it's, it's even like a big fluffy red scarf that we shake in the way so that you guys miss it. We create an artificial blink. We also have a concept you all know about called misdirection. I like to think of it as like a spotlight of focus and attention. And I guide your attention to this spotlight fo of focus and attention. And in your view, but in the dark area, out of focus, is the secret movement. Your eyes can see it, but your brain just cannot possibly process it. Now, I mentioned earlier Luigi Anzavino. He's over here now. He's the one we switched for. We're dressed almost exactly the same. Hello, Luigi. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is misdirection. <laughs> I created a humongous, gigantic blink. You looked over there. could have made the Statue of Liberty disappear on this stage. <laughs> you all look, too. Now, I mentioned earlier that your brain is making assumptions based on past experiences. And because of those assumptions, yeah. <laughs> Because of the assumptions, you'll look at something and you'll be sure that you know what it is, but sometimes it's not. When I looked at the time to say precisely two minutes ago, that's not a watch, it's actually a, a piece of blue uh, painter's tape. <laughs> and I was reading a script, I wasn't reading a script, there's nothing on here whatsoever. <laughs> not to mention these glasses have no lenses in them, you just assume, so you just assume that it does. So the next time you see me, with a magic wand, you'll know it's to guide and focus your attention to keep your eyes over here so that in the dark areas, the gray areas, that's where the magic happens. And speaking of magic wands, I want to introduce everybody to the Shibari 3000. What is that, you ask? It's something that I found, one person laughed, something I found on Amazon. It's a therapeutic massager. It makes a terrible microphone. <laughs> But a great, makes a great spot massager, yes. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, your brain is all, turn that off. <laughs> your brain makes connections. You see the plastic cup, you know it's under my armpit because I had this motion. Your brain connects it to my neck cracking, but it wasn't my neck cracking, it was a plastic cup. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, your brain makes assumptions, it lives in the future, cannot process small changes, is easily misdirected, and seeks connections, just like that fluffy scarf I mentioned earlier is actually my magic wand. And now, ladies and gentlemen,